Once upon a time, there was a space engineer who set out on a quest to supply fuel to all who needed it. He didn't set out alone for this quest. He brought his trusty companion in orange. In this tube is a guy in an orange suit who usually causes me more grief, but also gives me more entertainment um, than being on my own. I was in the tube. Oh, uh, where I'm are now, you now? I'm in the bathroom. Kapak, what are you doing in the bathroom? I don't know how I got here. Um, so yeah, this is Kapak. Their quest began when they woke up on the wrong planet without a means to leave. It fell upon them to build a rocket of the Three, most epic of proportions two, to carry them to the moon and one, beyond. And launch. Oh. I may have overestimated how much fuel was in those tanks. Uh oh. What's up? Falling. Falling. <laughs> so glad I put parachutes on this, but I really hope they work. Uh, I think that drifting pursuant might have something to say about whether our parachutes work. He's coming for us. Oh! Taking hits! Bye, Kavak! <laughs> After much trial and error, they were landed on the moon, but all was not well. Fire! Incoming fire! Why aren't our turrets firing? Ah. Whoa! Ow. Whoa, what got blown up as you jumped out? I don't know. Oh no, that's not good! The ship! No! Take cover, get your drill out, and make yourself a foxhole. Hostile elements rose against them, powerful enough that it appeared that they had brought the rains themselves to the barren surface of the moon. Whoa! So many impacts on the dirt around me. This is terrifying. Oh, there's a ho there's horsefly drones coming in. This would not be enough to stop our intrepid heroes, though, for they were... stubborn. They fought through hordes of enemy drones, base after base after base, and even managed to capture several of the enemy's ships before once again being ready to set out for the stars. But this time, they were ready. This time, no one would stop them from making a home on the moon. With much trepidation, the one in orange was left without supervision to establish the moon base. You following the warheads? Yep. There's still more of them. Ah. Oh jeez, they're blowing up. Okay. You, yeah, you better get out. Oh, they actually hit tight. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I mean, my aim at the end was pretty rubbish, but my aim at the beginning was not too bad. There's actually a deep part. Well, I'm going in to check it out. Okay. To the amazement of all, his story is one of some success, though his description of the entry to his base might have been somewhat grandiose. How does one go in this thing? You, you go down the hole. Is the hole big enough for this vehicle? I don't know. It's pretty big though. It's not big enough. Okay, apparently not. Arrgh. That serves uh, me right for relying on you. What? You, you didn't tell me you were making something this big. You didn't tell me you'd made such a small drill hole. Oh man, this is not the entry to your base that I was imagining. <laughs> I was imagining some fanfare, not desperate drilling. You get a fanfare when you get to the bottom. <laughs> is it an achievement or something? Whoa! No! Oh no! No! Can it be that sniper drone? Oh, got the uraniums. Many moons passed, and the pair became masters of this new domain, building an epic fortress the likes of which would not be seen again. I mean, they built a sprawling underground lair using the very surface of the moon to protect them. They collected gold and silver in abundance, constructed ships of war, and reached out to attack their nemesis. As many of these stories go, this battle did not end in their favor. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost a hand! Wounded but not defeated, the two retreated to their underground home to devise a plan capable of destroying their foe. With much pluck and courage, they set up us the bomb and waited for the moment to strike. The battle that ensued was glorious, the result perhaps even visible to those on the planet below.
With this victory, the pair were left feeling untouchable, so they went searching for trouble, which came to them somewhat sooner oh! than anticipated. Oh! What uh. the? Without further reason to remain, they returned to the planet to prepare a ship of epic proportions and ugliness, then finally began their travels to Mars in search of platinum for the shields they would need to once again take the fight to the enemy. Fate, it seems, does have a sense of humor, as events conspired to leave the two stranded on Mars with little more than a witch's hat while trespassing in the territory of the fearsome G-Corp. The two learned much of themselves on Mars and learned the name of a new enemy, Thumbs. He took much from them, but not enough to see them cease their long quest. They will continue. They will fight. And they will most likely make fun of each other. But one day, sometime, somehow, they will collect enough to complete their quest and establish the most glorious of truck stops above the green planet. This is the story of Splitsy and Catback in Survival Unlikely. G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. And this is sort of the start of Catback. Did you throw something out the airlock? Whoa. What, what I, airlock? This doesn't just, have an airlock. I just saw something flying down towards the Mars planet. So this is... It, I'm kind of... Whoa. I don't see anything. I'm kind of seeing this as the start of, I guess, season three, but we're back to Survival Unlikely now. Um, we are? Yeah, okay. we've escaped from Mars, so it's now Survival Unlikely again. Sure. <laughs> if for anyone who's confused, just go back to the start of the playlist and it all makes sense, I guess. Uh, more or less. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the nonsense we do normally won't make sense. Uh, come back. Our fuel reserves aren't great. Are we going to be at the agglomination soon? Um, oh, is that where we were going? Well, now that we're in space, um, it shouldn't be we too bad. We aren't in space. We're still in small amount of gravity. What? I thought we escaped. Yeah, we went, and then we went back and then we right. escaped again. All right. Let's, Almost. Let's get out of here then. Um, there we go. So. <laughs> at the end. Uh, when we... What, so, what's the plan with the hammer? Or fist, or whatever it is? That's, that's the Capectron's new cyborg arm. Does it have any control over it? Mm, not currently. <laughs> and what's with its piston leg? It's longer than its other leg. Yeah, that's the robo leg. Do you want me to try and adjust the robo leg to be the same height? Or may I? Um, what? Oh, I guess if you want to. If it's Making you uncomfortable. It is, because it'll make it difficult for you to lock onto the agglomination. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, shouldn't take us too long. How far are we, alright? 24 Ks. Alright, cool. Okay, so, plans for what we need to do. We need to head back down to Mars now that we've got refinery tech. And we need to get ourselves some platinum. So, you're going to need to fit out your rover as a lander vehicle to get back down. Oh no! Because we know it can get to space. It was hard enough getting it to space. Now you want me to take it back down again? It wasn't that hard. You only had you only used like three percent of your fuel. You won't even need to refuel. You'll be able to make it down there and back right. several times. So where are we gonna land? Um. So we moved. We parked the rover over near Mickey's scrap. So I thought we could land down near Mickey's. Okay. Um. And from there we can then go and search around for some platinum and. And drill some out and hmm. get on with things. Should should we head over to the ice fields? To the snowy bit? Yeah, so we got lots of ice when we need to leave. That's actually a good call. So, okay, so if you land down near the rover, we can then take the big orange rover and yours over to the ice fields. Set up the big orange rover as a refinery station and things as well. Okay. Have you got any plans on how to make your ship land safely? Um, I guess I could bolt a bunch of big ugly parachutes to it. Parachutes don't need to be external. Uh, what? I'll technically work without being. I mean, 
that that is absurd. Okay, but <laughs> but also it doesn't have much interior space anyway. But you've you've got all those con- you've got all those uh, conveyor ports up on the top level, so you should be able to use them to Wait. attach some parachutes oh, to. Are we? I think we're falling. You might want to put your dampeners on. Also, you've turned off your thrusters. Yeah, because I was just going to coast the agglomeration. Yeah, but we were, we're still inside the gravity well. We're at 0.14 Gs. Yeah, I thought it would be enough thrust to get us away. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Uh, this isn't working either. Now it is. Do you want me to keep counteracting gravity? Because I can control it. Uh, it's fine. I'll keep doing it. You just keep counteracting your swinging fist. Yes. Are we Tank. going the right way? Yes, we're going the right way. Mickey's scrap marker is going further away and the agglomination is coming closer. Slowly. Yes. At least someone hadn't let us fall down to the gravity while I was jabbering on about well, who knows what. I was trying to find a straight line. You should have been paying more attention. <laughs> You're the pilot! Well, I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. It was clearly not intended, <laughs> well, for much of anything, really. <laughs> uh, you're the pilot, though. You're the one who's supposed to be paying attention. I'm just a passenger sitting on the back. Look, this thing is good at one thing, and that's getting decapitated on big golden rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, does it ever do that well. Oh, so well. Oh, also tripping over bits of shrapnel <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and cartwheeling forward. Uh, oh, we should. We'll need to bring down the little mining ship when we go down. Mining ship? The mining ship that's on the agglomeration, because I can't be bothered going back to the ice mine to get that one. I'll just. We'll just bring this one down. Uh, will it work in an atmosphere? It's an atmospheric mining ship. Is it? I can't remember. So you're going to need to use the capactron to move it to the connector on the rover. Right. <laughs> it's an atmospheric ship it won't be able to fly itself although I could probably fit a few ions to it so I can that might be worth it actually uh, I mean, are we going past the agglomeration? yes you're going to need to slow down and, what? I just saw a red red? I just saw a red I don't see any I see the flashing red light no 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 I saw a red marker you um, sure it wasn't my my laser targeting? or my fist of fury? come back do you have a reverse thruster for going down? Because we're not slowing down. Um, okay, the thruster on the top doesn't seem to be going. Oh, it doesn't at all. I'll hop out and have a look. Nope. Oh, it's no, it's the one you broke the piping to when you changed from a connector oh. to a thing, so it doesn't actually do anything. Do you want me to move it? Yeah. That might help, eh? Whoa, okay, my grinder is really effect effective, I forgot. Oh, why do I feel like I'm doing an orbital rendezvous in <laughs> Kerbal Space Program? Because <laughs> you've got a gi giant hand swinging around on a rotor that's constantly throwing you off course. I need more maneuver <laughs> nodes. Okay, so you say I gotta, gotta get this mining ship? Um, I'm gonna have to maneuver it around. No, no, just park, park yourself somewhere that you'd be happy to have the Cavactron parked. All right. So yeah, the reason we need to go down is because we need to get the platinum for shields. Because we're going shields. to want shields for when we get to the alien planet. It's got all the uranium over there, wherever it is. Right. Okay. Yes. What's that got to do with me? Um. So that that's the reason we're going down, back down to Mars. Because Mars has the platinum. It's the reason we were here in the first place. Right. Okay. So we gotta we gotta re-equip my rover for re-entry. Yes, you've gotta re-equip your rover for re-entry. Okay, how will I do that? Guess I'll need some parachutos. I love a good bit of parachuto. On my sandwich. <sighs> Do parachutes need to be like fed from a pipe or can you manually load them? You can manually load them, but it'd be much easier to feed them from a pipe. Uh, which way is up? Uh, also, you're going to need 
I'm going to need a connector pointing upwards to hook onto. Um, so, uh, where? Wait, how do I know how many parachutes I need? You don't. But I'm going to say at least two. <laughs> and I want to, oh, I want to land this thing. Wheels down. Yeah, on all fours. I mean, you could um, you could pop a pair of parachutes on the back here on these yeah, thrusters, so, so they're okay. accessible, and you can pop the canvases in. And then if you have one at the front somewhere as well, or two at the front, even, you could. Uh, I mean, wait. Yep, I or, think I think I got my parachute placement. Actually, come back. I've got a, another idea. You never needed these two thrusters. Put parachutes where they're in. What? No. Because that's, that's roughly in the middle, and then you put one at the rear. That's a terrible place. I'm putting four, so I get a nice stable descent. Oh, right. You're putting on your oxygen farms. Okay. Okay. Um, what, what's the... Is it canvas? Yes. It is canvas. Uh, we've got three. You will need to make more. It is five canvas per large shoot. Alright, making some canvas out of iron. Silicon. Iron and silicon. It's gonna be very heavy parachutes. What the oh What? I think the goblin is stealing all of my canvases. Oh to go into its own parachutes. Stupid jerk. Goblins. We actually don't have all that much on board. No, there's not a lot of cargo space on here. Still, good to not have that extra weight on board when we're heading down. And and back up. I don't know why there's large steel tubes in one of the cryo chambers. Uh, probably because it's hooked up to the piping network and when we were offloading stuff into the thing, that was the only space that was left. Uh, do you need more uranium on board this thing? Probably wouldn't hurt. Thrusters are active. Okay, landing gear. Detached. You're gonna need to move away. Okay, yeah, I'm boarding. Clear. I am bored. You are a board. No, I'm bored. A board. I'm also confused by the gravitational orientation. That's right, we'll be clear of it in a sec. Are you ready? Yep. Right. I am aiming at Mickey Scrap. Cool. Nighttime landing. I love it. Okay, now I can walk. Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> that is so trippy. Because <laughs> I, I was sliding sideways as you did that. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm already not liking it. It'll be fine. Be exciting. Mm. When should I activate my inertial dampness? Well, I would say after your parachutes deploy. You don't want to slow down before then? No. I don't think so. The parachutes may well do all the work and that will save you plenty of hydrogen. May well. But you'll have time to do something about it. It'll be fine. Assuming you, you know, did the parachutes properly. Well, you could always check if you want. No, no. I'm not I doing that. I did the group and I set them to auto... I'm deploy. not your babysitter. Well, <laughs> it will be my pate when we smack into the surface <laughs> at 100 meters a second. <laughs> Two kilometers. You're pretty close to the landing site. Good job. Oh, no, that's not a good time for that at all. What? What? Uh, come back! Deploy! What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> what happened? I didn't see any of it. We're sideways! We're sideways! Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do something about it. Why do we only have three parachutes? Uh... Who knows? Oh, that was a very soft landing. Right, wheels are on. Uh, you might want to cut your nope. shoes and turn off your thrusters. <laughs> if you come to a complete stop, the parachutes will cut. 
Uh, there you go. All right. Watch out for that boulder. I can see it. Actually, while we're driving around, do you want to see if my front spotlights are on the maximum that they could be? Sure, I can do that for you. Yes, they are. Boy. The two downward ones weren't, but they kind of didn't do anything anyway. Might as well get rid of them. Huh. Ah. Thanks, taxi driver. Um, gravity generator, turn off. I need that now. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we drive on. Uh, and once we... Wait. Do we... We need an ore detector. Uh, you should fit one as well. We should both sure. fit one. I'm just gonna squeeze one in underneath here, I think. Just so we can find any, if we go past any platinum, we'll pick it up. Well, at least I got plenty of room in this hangar to build refineries. So, that, that's something. Quit pushing me around, I'm trying to get components. Quit what? It wasn't you. What? Well, I'm not even there. Why did I get pushed towards <laughs> the container? <laughs> I don't know. I think your rover is haunted. Maybe. There were a lot of cap hacks that have died there. Alright, I've got a little side slung ore detector. Alright, set its range to max. It's not neat, but it's... Oh yeah, we can get rid of it once we find platinum. But set its range to max. Ore detector... Range maximum... Broadcut... Oh, do I have an antenna on this? I don't think I do. I'm guessing you probably want me to put an antenna on. Uh, it's preferable, but you don't have to. Uh, 18 more radio components. Eight more. Yes, eight more radio. You really should start using the build planner. It makes your life so much easier. Lies. No, not lies. Truths. All of the truth. Okay, that's done. Okay. I'm ready to follow. Lead the way, Kebac. And keep an eye on the ores we find. And hope I don't crash into anything and explode. Yeah. Because I'm following behind you and then I'll crash into you and explode. Oh, there's a boulder. Whoa. Oh yeah, this might slightly help you? Nope, it didn't. <laughs> Have you maxed the range on the ore detector? Yes. Oh. But the boulder still appeared on my HUD and visibly at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you meaning to go this quick? Maybe not. Because remember, you don't have a speed limit set anymore. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. That explains why I'm going so much faster than I'm used to. <laughs> I was wondering why I was going 60 meters a second and you were still pulling away from me. I also can't tell because it's so dark. <laughs> um, are you deliberately going into the hills? No, I'm going around the hills. It just feels like this is a bit more hilly. It is a bit, but this is still the flat area. Keep an eye out for craters. I can't see anything. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? You've oh, also managed to pull mineral patch over a kilometer away from me. It's kind of cool seeing you driving off there in the dark. Oh. As I oh. attempt to follow. It's real annoying when I go up a hill oh, and so... Platinum. Oh, platinum! I saw a platinum marker. Yep. We should mark it, but we'll still head to the snow and if we find something up there, we'll use it, but otherwise we'll come back here. Uh, okay, I'll make a GPS here then. I don't know if it's better driving in first person or worse. <laughs> well, it's definitely not better for me. 
Because I can't see any of my headlight beams at all from first person. It may actually be better. For me, because I'll see boulders coming up quicker. Hmm. We've got a fair way to go. We've got probably 20, 30 k's to go. We could probably go faster in the daytime. Oh, that's not good. Enemy, enemy base yep. sighted. Get, I see it. Get moving, get moving, get moving. Ah, moving. Should I turn my guns on? Yes. Turn your guns on. Fleeting rival inbound. Oh dear. Jeez, they did not take long to fill the gap that G Corp left. Oh, taking fire. Whoa, oh, it's bumpy terrain. Whoa. Get back, don't stop. Um. Nope. What's wrong? Stopping is the thing that is happening. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? I don't know. I can't see anything. I'm spinning around in circles. Oh, I'm still in the... Oh. What are you... <laughs> You're in a crater. The whole... Oh. <laughs> what's... What's happened? The whole front of my vehicle is destroyed. <laughs> what? Did you crash? Oh, Kavak. You're the one behind me saying go faster, go faster. So I, so I go slightly faster and I nose head, head first into a ditch. Oh no. Oh. 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 You completely detached a wheel. Oh, I took out the gravity generator and, all, and the couch. Oh no. Um, do, you, do you need a tow? I probably need a full set of replacement toes. I probably lost half of them in the crash. Well, if we move your flight seat inside, you should be able to drive out of the hole. Uh, might need to lose these lockers. Oh, that's not good. We are. Okay, there you go. You got a flight seat. See if you can reverse out of the hole. Where's my rover? There. You good? Well... Ish? Uh, I've also lost both my headlights. Oh, right. So um, now I really can't see where I'm going. Did you, ow. Hang on. Oh, and you lost... How did you... Did you grind the ones off the side? What? The ones that were on your... Oxygen tent farms. Yeah, the downwards pointing ones. Did you grind them off already? Yes. Oh, I was going to grind them off to place new ones for you. Hang on. Let me... Sparrow inbound. Well, not much I can do about it. Just try and get yourself out of that hole. Oh, hang on. I think two of my turrets are off. Here they come. Oh, it shouldn't, mate. Oh, it's gone down. We're okay now. We are gonna need something that we can do to take out these enemies more effectively. Okay, uh... uh what's the spotlights. Are you crashing into me? What? You're crashing into me! Why? Why are you reversing into my wheel? Because I can't find a thing to turn my brakes on, so I can't control anything. It's the control seat that you're in. What? What, are you, what are you talking about? That's how you turn your brakes on. It's the control seat. I'm not crashing into anything. Capac, look at this. <laughs> okay. I can't crash into something <laughs> I can't see. Uh, move forward. That's why you can't go backwards. Also, you got two headlights now. All right, let's keep moving. Well, there's more platinum here. So there's plenty of platinum. So we probably don't need to worry about marking it. Let's just try and get to the snow so that we've got hydrogen resources wherever we go. Oh, fleeting rival inbound! On your position! Whoa. I'm in range. Providing supporting fire. Oh, my guns are on or Whoa. off. I guess they're on. Okay, I just drove into the hole that you drove into before. Uh, I think it's gone down. So as soon as we get to the ice, we'll repair your vehicle. 
We'll start... Well, you, while you're repairing your vehicle, I'll start uh, prepping a refinery so that we can start getting some platinum refined. Then the first thing we do is get a shield on both of these vehicles. Yeah, I guess? Sure. Um, so if we can get a shield on both of these, then those little drones won't be a worry at all. Although it seems like the attacks have stopped for now. Oh, two boulders. Now you're just taunting me. Did you damage yourself more? Not yet. That doesn't sound good. I just almost drove into a crater. Oh, another one. I can't see them at all, because when I get close to them, my headlights go straight up in the air. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not faulting you for running into the crater. It, uh, it's very difficult to see stuff. Um, I just don't think we have much choice but to continue to move at night. I mean, do you want to wait till morning? We could, you could help me try and set up the refinery stuff overnight if you wanted to wait. Uh, it doesn't sound like a good idea. Because we're going to need to set that up anyway before we can do anything really useful. Oh, now I've got no atmosphere. Ah, nothing like a relaxing midnight drive. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fearing constantly for your life and that of your rover. Maybe I should just gun it up one of these hills and turn my thrusters on and fly there. Huh. That's not the worst idea you've had. Well, it is, considering I don't have any parachutes left and I ground them all off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, landing would be... Oh, I see ice, though. Doable, but challenging. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's off to the left. Oh, that boulder was close. That uh, boulder was very close. I found iron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's uh, some platinum underground here. I'd still prefer to find some in the ice. Whoa! Oh. Wait, do I clear that? Not enough. Oh, that was close. There's a little platinum boulder here. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the snow. Should I turn back around and go to that platinum boulder? No, no, no. Just search for some underground platinum in the snow. You, you're seeing platinum right now. Is that I the boulder? Am, uh, no, no, that's under the snow here. Okay, cool. Park up and I will approach. Uh, what you could start doing... Is you could, if you wanted to, well, start repairing your ship. You just start repairing your vehicle. You may need to get it up on pistons to fix it all up, though. It's going to take a bit of work. Well, especially since I don't have any components left on this thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. You just, you pulled a long way ahead of me. I was taking it a little bit easier. Are you going to change it up when you repair it, or are you going to go exactly the same again? Uh, I'll probably go the same, but I'm going to have to do some major modifications to get a shield on here. Yeah, we'll probably go shield on the big one first. We parked quite a long way from the silicon. What? Ow. <laughs> Did you just run into the rover? You just ran me over. <laughs> I thought you were flying! <laughs> I was like right, right here trying to figure out what was going with my jetpack and I flew like a couple of meters away. And you flew straight into my wheel. Where's my... There it is. <laughs> oh, Capac. Alright, refinery time. That's all we need. There's no point mining any platinum unless we've got a refinery to do something with it. Alright. Well, I'm back to functional. Oh, good. It's good news, Kavak. Oh. Good news. What? I said I'll show you good news. I would. I was being genuine. <laughs> why? Why do you always get upset when I'm genuine? Because being genuine is rude. Huh? <laughs> being genuinely nice is rude. Yep. 
think you just gave me free reign to be mean to you all the time. Yeah, that is not true. <laughs> I think it is. I think it very much is. You're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> uh, we need shield components. Wait, do we need superconducting components? Do we need to bring them back from the thing? Um, ship shield emitter requires 200 superconductors. Oh, gonna have to. We're not gonna have shields then. Down here. We'll only be able to have shields up on the. up in space. Well. Okay, that's good to know. So at least we know. Okay, I've got three refineries, all with. Two speed modules and two power efficiency modules, which gives them a slightly increased power requirement, but three times the productivity. So what I need to do is build that <clears throat> connector on top so that I can use the mining ship. Okay, platinum, here we come. Oh, I forgot how crazy power the full the gyros were on this thing. It actually looks like a decent sized deposit of platinum, it's good. Cool. I was afraid we were going to have stopped on top of a tiny one. I present to you our first load of platinum. Good, sir. Ooh. Can we make it into superconductors? No. But we can make it into shield components. And uh, if we're really, really low on gold, we'll have to go back to the moon. <sighs> back... <laughs> To the moon. Yep. Because that's where you get gold. Unless we find it in an asteroid or along our way there. You haven't seen any uh, nasties come from that observer, have you? Nope. We could potentially take the chomper in to deal with it. Right. Uh, platinum takes a long time to refine. Of course it does. Production. Field emit. No! Oh. No. Field emitters require gold. Yep. Ah. That was, like, why we went to the moon in the first place. I thought it was for the. I'd forgotten. I thought it was for the um, superconductor components because they need gold too. All right. As soon as you're ready... We're going back to the moon. No, we're going back to space with your ship. Because <laughs> we didn't bring what we need, and we're going to need some stuff. Are you putting parachutes on there? No, this is going to be new gun emplacements. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can fly back now. Yeah, I know, but... you. You may as well get ready because we can take what platinum pr is produced in the meantime, or we could uh, even try and take out that observer base before we leave, before we go up again. Uh, where do I want to put thrusters? Well, oh, do actually. you have enough platinum? No, oh, we're going to need more. Oh, we're going to need huge amounts of platinum. Like, this won't be the only trip. Right now, we have managed to refine almost 10 kilograms of platinum. Okay. To produce a single field emitter, we need 8 kilograms of platinum. Right. So we can make one field emitter based on what we've got so far. Sure. <laughs> So what we need to do is hope that there's a whole bunch of gold on the agglomeration so we can go and bring it down here to manufacture everything so that instead of taking up platinum, we take up field emitters and platinum. But also so that I can build yield modules to make it so we get more out of what I mine. Although that side of things I'm not so fussed about. This is just really slow. So maybe, maybe what I should be doing is potentially trying to get more refineries in here. What was that? Yeah, just some plates. But I think I think I can't really fit it. I 
because I've only got exactly enough space to put more in here, which is not what I would want to do. Um, because if I put another three in here, I'll run out of space for anything else. Huh. Do I have medical components? F3. Yes, I've got heaps of them. They've got silver, but they don't have gold. But... Could put a survival kit onto the... Yeah, I'll put a survival kit on here. Onto the chumper. Because then it'll be a more useful forward assault vehicle, because I won't have to worry about us needing to respawn. It might be worth me collecting enough platinum that you could take platinum ore with you with us back up to the agglomeration, wouldn't it? Uh, that doesn't sound very efficient. Well, I'm just thinking, because we've got refineries on board the agglomeration, so those refineries can then do some work on the platinum as well. Because right now, the bottleneck is the refinery, not anything else. And it's going to take us a long time to fly to the moon, so I guess we could process it on the way there. Well, you've, there's a jump drive on the agglomeration. Still. Yeah. yeah. It will still take a while because there is only a single jump drive. We lost a lot of our jump capacity when we lost the cockroach. Speaking of, any uh, thoughts on how we might be able to chase that down? What? What are you asking me for? Because I don't have any ideas. I don't know. We could just hope Steve finds it for us. Uh, fleeting rival in inbound. Yeah. There is an observer base. Two Ks out. It's we're taking fire. Well, this isn't good. We're gonna have to take out that base. That is too close. Uh, explain how. Chomper and on foot. Oh, great. Wait, what if we get attacked while we're not here? Well, that's a risk we have to take. What, do you have the chomper deployed? No, close to though. What the? Stop that! <laughs> I was trying to get it in the hole. What? Don't! Why are you deliberately sabotaging the thing that's meant to be taking us back into space? Fun? What if we explode halfway up because there's a rock in one of the hydrogen thrusters? Oops. Right, I, I thought we were under attack. Why are you goofing around with rocks? Because <laughs> I already had it prepped and I had to get rid of them. I'm going to deal with it myself. Okay, I'm, uh, I'll get the chumper loaded out. You're welcome to go in on foot if you like. I uh, probably don't know enough bullets. Also, your rover has a bunch of holes in it. Yes, it took fire. I saw that. Alright, chumpers heading out. Uh, you can hop in if you like. Oh no, I lost sight of the base. The nearby base, I've lost sight of it. I think it was in this direction. Uh, yeah, it was over here. Yep. You gonna load up in here, or are you... What's your plan? Uh, I'll scout out on foot. Alright. Ish. What we may need to do, is you may need to grab the attention of the turrets as I move in with this to take, take them out. It was only like two kilometers away, right? Yeah, it was pretty close. I don't see anything. What the? Huh? I just lost a wheel for no re reason whatsoever. Did you crash into an invisible enemy base? No, I did not. But I don't know where this base is. I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Fleeting rival coming in. Well, you're going to have to take it out. What? You are going to have to take it out. I'm currently 
changing my tire here. I'm stranded. It's not shooting at me. Uh, how many turrets does it have? Can't see. Moving around too fast. Oh well, if it doesn't want to shoot. Oh, it's going for you. Uh, it's going down. Will Capac Splitzy and the Chumper be able to take out that assertive installation? Will Splitzy lose even more wheels from the Chumper for nails, I guess? Who knows what popped that tire. There's the answer to that and plenty more to come when Survival Unlikely continues next week.